Welcome, everybody, to the show. We're talking about Anatomy. This is a horror game I picked up. Now, Matt, you know nothing about this game. Nothing. All right. So this game, made by Kitty Horror Show. She has made a plethora of itch.io games and released them all for free. This is the first one she says she's felt comfortable asking money for. It's $3, and it will... Canadian. I'm not sure what it is in American by now. Uh, it will take you about 35 minutes to 40 minutes to play through completely. It it really demands multiple playthroughs to get the most out of the experience. What I really liked about this game is that it it takes the elements of horror that we that really really work in in terms of it takes dread and it takes tension very very seriously. And while I was waiting for that first jump scare, and I'm going through and the tension is building and it was almost unbearable and i got to this one point where the first jump scare i thought i had was this red light coming at me and i realized that it was just the wall was red and i gotten mm. so close to it with a flashlight and there was a, a lack of color earlier on so so that even that was like enough um it doesn't have a traditional a traditional enemy or a traditional monster which is great because a lot of times in horror movies and games, like when you do finally meet that monster, it's that's kind of it. Like the the thrill can be over, and it's gonna be really challenging to keep that going. So the game manages to use your imagination quite a bit. It's I think it's made just by one person, so the graphics are nothing incredible, but it actually plays with um, the lower the lower poly, sort of polygon resolution style. It does a lot of uh, cool visual effects where the game world. I don't want to. I don't want to spoil anything with it. But there are going to be some cool visual effects. Multiple playthroughs are absolutely recommended. One playthrough of the game takes about maybe ten minutes. Hmm. Uh, there is a lot of repetition within it, but it's it's part of the game design so that you become f- more familiar with the environment and doing this repetition builds tension for when when the, they say the fifth or sixth time you do a certain task what's it going to be like that time and then when you get to like the 25th time of that uh, things do change later on again I don't want to spoil anything so I'm talking in very vague generalities here but I highly recommend it and it's it's a game that I I'm not normally into horror games and I know like Five Nights at Freddy's has been super popular and I've heard really great things about Soma but I think the the really obnoxious culture around YouTubers screaming into their cameras um, really really turned me like really scared me away from them. Pardon the pun. That I just like I don't want to play it if it's just jamming something in front of your face. Yeah. So when I had heard about this game, I was more intrigued about the how it was a little more psychologically done and how it it took more of your imagination um, along for the ride. And uh, I also just really like shorter games lately, you know, games that I can get through in a sitting and can provide me with like a very strong reaction quickly. You know, sometimes I'm sitting down and I may be too tired to like jump into a new game and get through an hour long tutorial or like really get up to speed in something else or like try to accomplish something in Dark Souls, for example. And I just want to experience something. Lately, I've been putting on a horror game and just going through and getting freaked out for 20 minutes before I go to sleep and have wonderful dreams. Or um, I even put on flower the other day because I had 15 minutes and I just wanted to fly. I don't have any games where I can fly anymore. And just the sensation of that and the vibrating control. I even have my girlfriend playing it for a little bit. And it's really easy to tell someone who doesn't play video games, press any button at all. Not like when she's trying to get into Netflix and I'm like, press the PlayStation button. Yeah. She doesn't know what that is. It doesn't like it says PlayStation on it. She doesn't know the logo. So... But that's getting away from uh, this experience. And it's, I really, really recommend it. And if if someone out there doesn't think that it's worth, say, $3, she, like I said, she has maybe a dozen other games on her HIO. It's Kitty Horror Show. And I've heard that, um, well, you can try them really at random. So, Matt, is, are you bigger? Yeah. Is, is this more like, I'm, I'm trying to just imagine, I, I haven't seen any gameplay. Is this, mm. are you, is this more like an interactive visual novel when it's like this one story that's being told and you, you can experience it a few different ways depending on the choices that you make? Or is it, does the replayability come from this being more of an, like a, a horror survival exploration game where depending on the path you take or certain actions you take uh, might change things up how, how does this exactly play out is it more visual novel style or am i thinking more survival horror adventure and uh where, where's the replayability coming from think gone home 
So it's first person maneuvering around. It's very like old school PC where you have a jump button that I really never understood why I needed. But I think having the jump button there made me think that maybe I'll need this and have to evade faster. Mm. So you're walking around in a very dark house and the majority of the game is is listening to audio logs and then the experience around you changing. So the general metaphor of the game, it's called anatomy, is about a house and how the house is compared to uh, the human body and how different rooms can be the brain or the heart or the liver or the stomach, etc. And you spend a lot of time listening to these, these tapes uh, and that explore this metaphor further, but, and then that develops into something more interesting later on that I'm not going to say. So that's generally it. It's, it's, you could call it a walking simulator in a way, but I think the horror, that's the best way to present horror is, is in first person or a narrative experience as well. Yeah. Because, because text and imagination work so well together. Uh, yeah, it's like a, it's a more terrifying, it's like the first part of Gone Home where you think Gone Home is a horror game. So, uh, yeah, actually, I'm glad you asked that question because I really didn't explain anything about what the, what, the, what the game itself is. Here's a tip. When you start this game off, it goes for a very... I think they want to jar you with some sound at the beginning, but make sure your volume is not cranked because you're going to want to play any horror game with headphones. Just turn it down in the very beginning because they have this horribly irritating uh, sound that is going to blow your eardrums out. So, are, you, are you big into horror games at all, Matt? I, you know, usually I'm not, I, I am into, I'm not, I'm not huge into, um, horror generally, but it, it depends on how the genre is approached. I mean, even, even when it comes to film, I would never go see, you know, something like the ring in theaters. I would probably never pay to go see something like uh, Friday the 13th in theaters, but, uh, the sixth sense is one of my favorite movies period of, of any genre, just because it relies more on suspense and story and dread and anticipation. And I think, you know, when I'm seeking that thrill, I'm not seeking the jump scare that scare that shoots you out of your skin. I'm not, I'm not seeking to be grossed out. Um, necessarily. I, when I, when I want that horror experience, I dread is really the word that that comes to mind. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for um, the setup, and I'm looking for atmosphere and ambiance, and that's what I really enjoy in a horror game. That's why Soma looks so interesting to me, and uh, why something like this that relies more on um, a kind of a, a more slowly progressing story that you kind of piece together as you go. Um, that that's that's kind of the stuff that I get into. Yeah, and in terms of, yeah, there's going to be a lot of dread, not a lot of jumps at all. You are most, I'd say a good 50% of the horror is going to be what you are thinking is going to happen, which is really what horror is all about. So they've really synthesized those factors down. And the story is, it unfolds and there's a narrative arc to it. There's going to be a lot of mystery when you're done and you might not... You might not feel total closure on it. I know I didn't. Actually, when I, when I finished, I wasn't sure whether, because of the repetitious nature of the game, I had to Google it. Like, was that the ending? And I didn't really find a lot. And then I watched someone else play it. And, okay, I guess we're at the end. Mm. And I still think about the game. And I think about the, the metaphor that it spoke of with the house being the home. And, and your role as the character... Uh, at least my version of it, I felt like uh, my perspective of who I was in the game changed quite a bit hmm. throughout it because of the events that were happening. So it was um, it was what I wanted out of a lot. Not all video games need to be like that, but when I do find a game that is a introspective experience that makes me feel a huge range of um, intense uh, emotions while playing, provides a lot of fun, a lot of thrills, and still has me thinking about it after. I think it was well worth three dollars. I think she could have charged a lot more. Hell, twice as much. Yeah, and it sounds like yeah, and it sounds like this is a an independent developer who is obviously working hard, working consistently, and uh, making a better game each time. So that's you know, especially if it's something you enjoy playing. That's it's just so easy to fork over a few dollars and say, keep doing what you're doing. You know, next time you're gonna have a better game, and I can't wait to see what you turn out next. There you go. Kitty Horror Show, Anatomy. It's worth it. Check out her stuff. Bye for now.